welcome back to jdm again we, today we are discussing about the ck exam series question number 3 so question number 3 says uh, create new horizontal pod auto scaler naming the apache server in the auto scaling namespace auto scale namespace so this hpm must target the existing deployment called apache server in the auto scaling namespace and we need to set the target utilization of cpu is 50% of a per part then we need to configure to have a minimum one part and no more than four parts. That means max four parts we need to set. And also we have to set the downscale stabilization window parameter to 30 seconds. So this is what we need to configure uh, as part of this HPL. So first we need to create a namespace. Uh, I'm creating kubectl create namespace that is auto scale. This will be created for you in the exam. Even the deployment also for you it is created. You don't want to worry about that. So let's move on to the question again. So we need to create a deployment and that, that is called Apache server. So how you will uh, navigate to that, right? Simply type HPA in the Kubernetes documentation and go to horizontal pod auto scaler. And if you little bit go down, right? Here walkthrough example is there. If you click on it, it will directly redirect you to the deployment itself. So this is the deployment. If you just simply copy it and just change the name of the deployment uh, is Apache server and the labels as required. Okay. It does not matter labels, but you need to make sure same labels are you are using. So let's go to the deployment, deployment.aml and uh, I will get the deployment as I have already modified. I'm getting that now uh, insert and uh, paste it. Okay, so now just I'll I'll go through what is there in the deployment, right? So this is the deployment and the namespace is Apache Server and uh, sorry namespace is auto scale and name is Apache Server. That's what uh, it is set in the question. So that's what we need to create in. So kubectl apply the deployment. So now the deployment server is created. So now we are all set for the for to proceed for the actual exam question so deployment is already there namespace already might be there for you in the exam so now you need to only set the you need to create the hpa and set the target utilization okay so now this is the time to create a hpa so we'll move back again to um, the same documentation which we are referring so here we have the create horizontal part of the scalar i don't see here we have any manifest is there but uh, it is they are using the imperative command just to create that so here we are setting just we need to modify the deployment name to the apache server and the percentage minimum is one and max is four we need to set in the question they have asked is four okay so we can run an imperative command and get it this one right so if i copy it i will just change this to four and I'll go back to this and I need to change it to Apache server. This is our um, a deployment name. And we need to run it in a auto scale namespace. YAML. Okay. So if I, if I show you the HPA. So this is how it is created. And um, the Apache server, the name of this Argental product is scalar also and deployment is the main one. The select target reference one is the um, deployment Apache server, right? So this is the name of the deployment and the minimum and maximum and target CPU utilization. We can uh, keep uh, 50 percentage as it is already suggested. For question, you can see um, we need to set the downscale stabilization, right? So for this, I will add an attribute called behavior. The downscale stabilization window is 30 seconds okay and these are not required so let me delete this okay downscale and apply server right now everything looks okay and let me save it and apply it I have uh, HPA okay so from our server it's creating hpml in v1 okay under behavior if you see the scale down i need to add that i have not added sorry it's my bad so will be scale down 
scale down i need to add and that down scaler that's what i think in the question it says okay we have to set that down scale that is the scale down we need to add an attribute so once that is done let me shave it and uh, apply it again so still let's say some issue okay this is uh, something with target cpu relation okay unknown field okay okay i got it i think that we need to add it as under metrics not from the uh, target cpu relation i got it okay let's be in a demo so we need to remove this guy and then what we need to do is here we need to add the matrix okay, have that here available now this is the one we need to replace with the uh, target cpu relation part this is how it will looks like the target cpu relation we have removed and we have uh, covered that one is under matrix so under matrix type is resource and uh, resource is cpu and the, what is the target is the 50 percent of utilization and the behavior and the, the stabilization in the seconds is 30 seconds that we have added let me save it and this time we will try to apply it again yes now it is created so kubectl get hpa come on so we clear the screen now try to verify the uh, hpa so kubectl get hpa and pass the namespace auto scale that's it that's it for this question thanks for watching and uh, if you would like please don't hesitate to subscribe and support me thanks for your time and i will post uh, more uh, questions coming coming days thank you please stay tuned bye